Now that we've looked at rewriting different trig expressions, now we're going to look at verifying some trig identities. Um, when we verify, all we're doing is proving or showing that the left side and the right side are equivalent by rewriting either one or both sides to match the other side. We're going to use the same things that we used with rewriting. We're still going to try to look at doing things in terms of sines and cosines, common denominators, adding, subtracting fractions, Pythagorean identities, factoring, foiling. So let's go ahead and jump right into example one here. So I need to prove that the left side is equal to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and so notice I can rewrite the left, the right, or both sides. So typically when I have, um, and I'm anticipating that this is going to be 1 over cosine and this is going to be cosine over sine. So when I have two fractions that could be put together, that's typically where I want to start because my goal is that if I could put these two soon to be fractions together, I may make that right side look like the left side. So I'm going to go ahead and jump there. So I'm going to ignore the left side for now. And I'm going to start working with the right side and say that's the same thing as 1 over cosine of t plus cosine of t over sine of t. And now that I have that in terms of sines and cosines, I'm going to go ahead and try to get my common denominator so that I can put these together. So I can see that this side I'm going to need to multiply by sine t and this side by cosine t, cosine t, in order to get that least common denominator of sine t, cosine t. So doing that, I now have an expression that is sine of t squared, no, excuse me, sine of t plus cosine squared t all over sine t, cosine t. So what I did was I multiplied both of these, and since the denominator is now the same, I put it all over one denominator. And perhaps from here, so I could see a way I could split this to make this right side look like the left side, but I'm not sure that you would catch the same thing, so I'm going to work it in a way that maybe you could see. So um, notice I said I could do the left side, the right side, or both sides. So maybe at this point I get here and I say, now I have my common denominator, and my right side and my left side still don't match. So what if now I say, I'm out of options on my right side, I, everything's in terms of sines and cosines, I put it together, I don't see an identity, um, I don't see a way to factor or rewrite or foil this. So what if I now say, well, what if I try working with the left side? And on the left side, maybe I say I'm going to change it to sines and cosines. So I know tangent is sine t over cosine t. So now I have plus cosine of t all over sine of t. And now I have this funky, quote-unquote, little fraction inside of this bigger fraction. So I have this, what we call a complex fraction. Well, in order to fix this complex fraction, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the entire top by cosine of t and the entire bottom by cosine of t. And that is allowed because cosine t over cosine t is like multiplying something by 1, and I'm allowed to multiply by 1. And notice when I do that, that cosine gets distributed, and when it gets distributed to this fr fraction here, my cosines cancel, leaving me with sine of t, plus, distributing here, I get cosine squared t, and my bottom is sine t, cosine t. So notice I have successfully shown that the left side is equal to or the same as the right side. So I have verified this equation. One thing to point out, when you're verifying, your steps are what are graded. So even if you can do things in your head, please make sure that you always show what it is you're doing. Let's go ahead and look at example two. Let's work through it the same way. So in example two, I have to prove that these are equivalent. So since I have more going on on the left, I'm going to go ahead and work with the left and try to show that the left is equivalent to the right. Ignoring the right for now, I'm going to say that sine of negative t is the same thing as negative sine t negative tangent t, the negative can come out, and that's the same thing as negative sine t over cosine t plus, again, the negative doesn't matter since cosine is an even function. Negative sine t times negative times c gives me sine squared t over cosine of t plus cosine of t. So wouldn't it be nice if I had a common denominator? So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this fraction here, this cosine of t over 1, top and bottom by cosine of t. And in doing so, 
I now have, I think I'm going to be on a room. I really want to kind of continue to go vertical, but because I'm on a room, I'm going to have to go up here. So I apologize for that. Sine squared T plus cosine squared T all over that common denominator of cosine of T. And I recognize this as an identity. This is the same thing as one. So this is just one over cosine of T. And since secant of T can be rewritten as one over cosine of T by the definition of that reciprocal function, I have successfully shown that my left side and my right side are equivalent to one another. So notice on this second example, I only had to rewrite one side of like the first example. Let's look at example three. There are four examples, so I do apologize. This will be a little bit lengthier video. And in example three, again, I'm going to go ahead and work with the left side because I have more going on with the left side. After working with the left side, I'm going to hopefully be able to show that it is equivalent to the right side. If not, I will work with the right side as well. And the very first thing I notice on the left side is that this top is an identity. Tangent squared plus one. I don't even have to rearrange it. That is just equal to secant squared x. On the bottom, I notice that is similar to an identity since cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. I can go ahead and say that cosine squared x equals one minus sine squared x. So I can replace this denominator with cosine squared x. Well, why does that help me? Because now if I write it in terms of sines and cosines, I have 1 over cosine squared x, rewriting secant squared x. I'm going to go ahead and say that this fraction bar is divided by cosine squared x. Well, how do I divide with fractions? I leave the first fraction alone. I change divide to multiply, and I take the reciprocal of the second. Well, then I just multiply straight across, giving me cosine to the fourth x. Well, by definition of the reciprocal function secant, that's the same thing as secant to the fourth x. So again, I've successfully shown that the left side and the right side are equivalent to one another. Let's go ahead and look at one final example. To start this example, I need to apologize that this is supposed to say cosine, not COS. Uh, it looks like I missed my O when typing that up. So I noticed that I have one two terms on the left. Since the left has more going on, I'm going to try to manipulate that left side, try to simplify or rewrite that left side to look like the right side. And I notice that in those two terms, both of those two terms have at least one cosine and at least one tangent. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to factor that out, giving me cosine of x, tangent of x times secant squared x for my first term, minus if I have a tangent cubed and I take one out, I'm left with a tangent squared x. Well, didn't we just see that tangent squared x plus 1 equaled secant squared x? So I'm going to take that and I'm going to, I'm going to work with that. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. So tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. Therefore, 1 equals secant squared x minus tangent squared x. So I can replace this piece here with 1. That gives me cosine of x, tangent of x, times 1. Well, I know that tangent of x is the same thing as sine of x over cosine of x. Using that and seeing that it's a multiplication, I don't have to write the times 1, I see my cosines cancel, and I am left with sine of x. So again, I have successfully shown that the left side is equal to the right side. So hopefully what you've noticed as you've watched this video is this is very, very simple to sim similar to rewriting. So I'm either rewriting one side to make it match the other side, or as you saw in that first example, I'm rewriting both sides to make them match one another. So again, using those same, same kind of concepts or suggestions as we did in rewriting. Uh, again, in class, we will spend some time doing some verifying together before I have you do some work on it on your own.